out at Boogie's Diner. Stick around. Everything started to go wrong when Quirp saved some junk mail from Zergon. Money tree! And if that wasn't bad enough, Lox decided he wanted to be a... Cowboy? Which was where? The river, wasn't it? And Father was acting guilty about something. I don't know what. And I had no idea where Quirt was getting the money from to buy the expensive scientific apparatus. But it was making the Froggots very suspicious. And it was Michelle who found the money tree. Right, everybody, freeze! This is a raid! Mr. Frogger called the police, but they went to the wrong wardrobe and didn't find the money tree, but poor David Carruthers, whom Dovis was trying to avoid. And so the danger of discovery was over for another day. But it was way too close. a good idea at the time. On Zergon, maybe. Not here. Now, has anybody else got anything to declare? Mm. Good. Michelle, will you see who that is, dear? G'day. Cos and Mick! Yo, Cos, long time no see. Yeah. Who is? Oh, Mick. <laughs> Michael. When did you get out? A couple of weeks ago. Get out of where, Dad? Get out to here, dear, to Bellwood. And I'm here with a proposition for you, Uncle Clive. I'm onto something big this time. All it will cost you is a few hundred lousy dollars. You could move away from neighbours. I mean, with locks moving in, we are a little stretched for accommodation. That's not a bad idea. We need more space. Hmm. Place with a cellar. That's what I need. A cellar? To keep things safe. Out of the way. You could be right. I must suggest it to X. No. No, no, no. no, no. Well, you saw the mood she's in. I, I think I'll just uh, take them around for something. You don't think that'd upset her? Aren't fathers here the ones who make decisions? Used to be a quiet, law abiding area. No more. Police storming next door, now Michael reappearing. With his record, we'll have the law chasing him up and down Renmark Street. But he is family. Surely he's entitled to some help. Well, you're not suggesting we loan him this money. No. No, I was just thinking more of moral assistance. No, don't give him a cent. I mean, the schemes that he dreams up are disastrous. Oh, that's just the ones that are legal. Where are you staying, Cousin Mick? I've got a mate doing a caretaking job in a big old place up in North Billwood. Not Clayton Hall? <laughs> that's it. He's looking after it until they find a buyer or a tenant for the place. You'll be there an awful long time. No one will buy that place. It's supposed to be haunted. I'm a bit past believing in ghosts, cuz. Do you think I could see over the place? My friend Dallas and I have always wanted to get a look in there. Sure, why not? Today? Anytime you want. Well, what do you reckon? It's only a couple of hundred bucks. Sorry, Michael. Come on, Uncle, it's important. Neither a borrower nor a lender be. Shakespeare said that. Did he? He must have been a right old tight one too. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you go? Oh, no. You didn't get the money. Oh, sometimes, Ace, your insight frightens me. Oh, it's my cousin and her friend, uh, Doris. Dallas! <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's my mate, Ace. G'day. G'day. <laughs> they think the house is haunted. 
Haunted? You never said anything about ghosts, Mick? Well, that's because there's no such thing, stupid. Yeah, well, we'll have to discuss it later. I'm showing a prospect over the place. Looks spooky. Yeah, well, you two help yourselves to a look around, eh? <laughs> what do we do if we see a ghost? Well, ask it if it's got a few hundred bucks to spare. <laughs> my friend. That's all I need to get you copied. And you'll be mine. Can't beat the charm of these old places. And it's big enough to hide the robot. Robot? Uh, I mean, rooster. Very nice, yes. Hey, you said, um, there's a cellar? How strong? Oh, walls of stone, three feet thick. Oh, excellent. Oh, uh, this way. Yeah. Yes. Yes, well, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I'll be in touch with the agent. No worries. It's pretty ordinary to me. That was normal as most people I know. He's a fruit loop. All the Jacksons are. What's the problem? Mr. Jackson, he's from outer space. The whole family is. From outer space? They are. They're weird, honest. And the kids are the weirdest. They go sailing in boats. A lot of people go sailing in boats. In the sky. And they can sort of put a spell on you. And they had a money tree and it grew money. Outer space money, I suppose. <laughs> Real money. Notes. I saw it. Look. I picked one. See? It's kind of small, isn't it? Well, I could only pick a bud, else they would have noticed. It didn't really have time to grow properly. Uh, anyone else seen this? I tried to show it to my dad, but he wouldn't listen. You know what he's like. Uh, Mick, could I uh, talk to you for a moment? Private life. A money tree, Mick. A money tree. You don't really believe this, do you? What about that, eh? Take a good look. It might be small, but it looks real, doesn't it? Yeah, but out of space. Couldn't be. If we grab those kids they're talking about, it's not going to take us long to find out, is it? There are people who would pay mega bucks for a living, breathing alien, Mick. Yeah, but there are mega bucks in our first plan. We get someone to copy that. We swap them and flog the original. Yeah, but... <laughs> The headman's an original Van Boofensberg. Ace, it's got to be worth thousands. And, and like thing is lefty, he'll copy it for 300. Those space research guys would cough up millions. And that's after we've got ourselves a money tree. I suppose we can fall back on the painting anyway. Mick, it's a chance of a lifetime. And I know just the ones to set the trap for us. Oh, thanks, Michelle. You can have this one back. We're going to manage to uh, find our own. <laughs> We just saw your new house. Yes. What new house? Up in North Bellwood. What new house? We knew all about it. We saw your father there. And we thought you ought to know the place is haunted. Ooh. We're going to have to sort this out quick. <laughs> What's Father up to now? We've got this nice place in Renmark Street. Why is he off looking at huge old mansions, which we certainly can't afford? And I must say, I, I'm not really looking forward to going into a haunted house. I looked up haunted on Hick. Sounds rather frightening. We don't have ghosts, goblins and spooks on Zergon. I wish Father wouldn't do this to me all the time. He's always getting us into awful situations, which I have to get us out of. I'm so pleased ghosts aren't real. Are they? Is anyone there? Hello?
you like the new place. Come with him for a bit of a bath. Stretch your legs. I wonder who it was. Didn't see you come in. Just got home. Did you see X? She was looking for you. I had to tell her. Oh. How, how did she take it? What was that? Minor earth tremor. Nothing to worry about. Right. I want every leaf a hundred dollar note. Now get on with it. I can't imagine where you got the idea. We're from outer space. Just do it. We can't. Don't give me that. I've seen one of those notes. Yeah, Michelle showed us. <laughs> and now we want one of our own. We'll give you five minutes. Damn, I can't kinetize these ropes off. It's because of these knots. They are so primitive, our advanced powers can't handle them. We can't just sit here tied up. Four beam locks to come and get us. I don't know. I'm not sure how locks would handle an emergency. Try him. Keep them occupied in the meantime. There's definitely something odd about those two. It's, it's like they're from outer space. Well, they're playing dumb for some reason, that's for sure. There's got to be some way that we can get the truth out. Are you listening to me, Ace? Am I speaking to myself? Will you forget about that painting? We're onto something big here. It winked. It winked at me. Go on, do it again. Come on, you pull yourself together. Letting all this rubbish about being haunted get to you. It did, I tell you. It did. You can rely on me, X. Well, if you must be rescued. You might as well be rescued by the pest. What's wrong? X is in trouble. Well, what's happening? Man's got to do what a man's got to do. Well, if X is in trouble. Whatever it is a man's got to do, and we're doing it with him. I suppose it's my fault. Again. I need help. be needed. If hundred bucks are too hard, try for fifties. Time's running out, kids. We're not asking too much here. <laughs> now you draw us some nice fifties on this and we'll let you go. You do 20s then? Are they easier to grow? You've got the wrong idea. What about 10s? Surely you can do 10s. Mick, it's just a power failure. Now look, you two, I've run out of patience. I want to see notes on this thing and I want to see them now. Come on. 
Seems I've misjudged him. I could have sworn he'd be back pestering us for that loan. You always think the worst of people, Clive. Well, in Michael's case, it's justified. It's... Dad, I... Michelle, your mother and I are talking. Perhaps he's turned over a new leaf. He took up art classes in prison, did he tell you? Whatever happened to hard labour? He said his favourite artist was Van Buffensburg. <laughs> Dutch con artist, was he? Dad, I just think... Michelle, he... don't interrupt. You interrupted her, Clive. And parents are meant to interrupt children, my dear. Michelle. I just think Dad should listen to what other people have to say. Your cousin I'm is... talking about me. You? Yes. Why would you believe me about the money tree? Because there is no such thing. What's this then? There's nothing else for it. This business will never be over while any trace of that money tree remains. What can we do, X? Oh, my goodness. Told you. Please, Michelle, no more of that nonsense about it growing on trees. 
Cousin Mick believed me. If he knew that money was involved, Cousin Mick would believe anything. Ah, there's got to be a logical explanation. And I think I know what it is. This time we've got them. Isn't this a bit radical, Ace? Oh, really, Lox? We haven't got time to worry about that now. What's happening? Get in, sir. Concentrate. Don't you see? They're forgers, counterfeiters. Counterfeiters, Clark, you are absurd. Well, in a small way, of course, but it's not the size that counts, it's a crime. And this is our proof. I have better things to do with my time. There are more adventures with Tintin coming up next. That's followed at 5.30 by a shopping shebang in Boogie's Diner.